Hello, Headshot Guy 7 here, and today I'll be teaching you how to run PS1 games on your computer or laptop, whichever one you've got, okay? Right, so first you want to go to your internet browser, and you want to go to Google. You want to type in EPSXE, and then you want to click on the official ES EPSXE website, okay? So once you're on there, it should look like this. And you want to go to downloads on the left, right here, and then uh, scroll down and find the right one for your system. So I've got Windows, so I'll choose the top one and click on the floppy disk to save. And uh, I will save it on the desktop, wherever it's gone. There it is. Right, Can you save that. Right now that's done. It's showed up. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. There it is. There it is, ignore them. It will show up like this. And you will need WinRAR. So again, go to Google. WinRAR is quite a common program, so you may already have it. But in case you don't, type in WinRAR on Google. And the, th the one that says RARLab.com, that's the one you want. You don't want to buy it, you want to go to Downloads and you want to click on the one for your system, so mine's a 64-bit Windows and you want to click on that and you want to save that again, I would save it in downloads sorry not downloads, desktop save that and then once that's done that'll show up on your desktop, it should look like that and you need to run that, obviously I already have, I've already installed everything so uh, I'll delete that for now and once that's installed the icon should look like this Okay, so then you want to right click and then you want to extract to EPSXE180 uh, slash and it should uh, should do that pretty quickly and then you should get a folder like this and you want to open the folder and you get all these little files around here okay the BIOS should be empty <laughs> so you want to download the BIOS files that's the next step so go back onto Google and you want to type in E P S X E BIOS. Click on that, and then uh, Emu Paradise. That's where you want to be. Emu Paradise. It's one of the, it's the best website in my opinion to get the BIOS and the games. And then, uh, you want to scroll down, scroll down to where it says download, and click on it. And you want to save that again on your desktop. So save that. And that will take a while. But I've already downloaded it, so I'll cancel that. And then uh, the file will show up on your desktop, and then you extract it like you did with the PSXE with WinRAR. And then uh, come up with a folder, and then you want to put them. Hang on. This is the PSXE folder that I've got up to date. Into the BIOS folder and it should say scph1001.bin you need that to run EPSXE okay and the plugins there should already be some there GPUP OpenGL2 that's the one you should get as you download the program and that's the best one in my opinion so I will just leave that like that and then you should be ready to set up EPSXE so uh, you want to click on the one that says application you want to right click on it first you want to go to properties you want to go to compatibility run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and then you want to run it as an administrator Apply. that's just to start any problems in case you've got Windows Vista because uh, I know there's been a lot of problems with Vista with my recent programs not working on it for some reason. For example, my Call of Duty apparently doesn't work on Vista. But anyway, once you've done that, you want to go back to your EPSXE folder and you want to click on EPSXE. And it should come up like this. This is what you want. So I'll close that. Right, we need to configure it. So you want to click Config and go to the Wizard Guide. You want to config. Right. The BIOS should come up if you put them in the BIOS folder. Okay, so you want to click on that, make sure it's highlighted. 
SCPH1001. Okay, and then you click next, and that should all be good. The video, Pete's Open GL2 Driver 2.9. That should be the one you use. And then you click config here. Um, these, this is where you change all the settings depending on your system, depending on how well it can run the game. So if you've got a fairly old computer, I choose the default setting fast. I'm not going to click it because it will change all the settings. Uh, and if you've got a fairly fairly modern modern computer, I'd click nice. Okay, and laptops they're not the best, but they can run they can run it on about mid settings. So uh, to do that, I'd click fast, and then I'd make all these all these drop down menus. I'd put them all on one, apart from render mode, which I would put on two. Okay, and then. Uh, Everything else should be okay, right? And then you want to click OK, and then uh, click Next, and then um, the sound plugin should already be there. You should have got it with the download. Click Next. Choose the bottom, the bottom one, CD, bottom CD ROM, CDR WNT W2K car. Okay. For some reason, the top one does not work, but that's only if you're running the game from uh, a disc. Whereas most people run it from ISOs, right? Depending on how many people you're going to have playing the game, I assume it's just one. Click Controller One, and then uh, what you do is you find the button that you want. You click it in the box, and then you press any key you want to make it that button. So if I want, hang on, that's L2. If I want that to be say a two, I press two, and it shows up like that, just like that. Of course, I don't want it to be number two because I've got a USB. PS2 controller adapter so I can use my PS2 in it. And that's why the numbers look very funny like POV2 up and so on. Okay. You want to assign all the buttons to letters on the keyboard or if you've got a controller and an adapter, use that. That's even better. Just like the original PS1 experience. Uh, and then you want to click next. And then you should be configured. Okay. Now you'll need a game to run. Okay. So I'll show you how to do that. If you just close EPSXE for now, and then you want to go to Emu Paradise. So Google again, it's always the best way to do something. And then uh, Emu Paradise. There you go. Uh, it's the top one, the one that says emuparadise.me. Click on it. And the EPSXE is a PlayStation 1 emulator. So uh, you want to go to ROMs, ISOs and games at the left here under Featured Sections. And you scroll down until you find PS1 ISOs or PlayStation ISOs. Sony PlayStation ISOs, there you go. Click on that. And then uh, depending on which game you want to run, uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'll download Crash Bandicoot. Because everyone likes Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, so you want to scroll, uh, sorry. You want to... Hang on, I've lost the button. Where's it gone? Download PSX ISOs. This yellow, yellowy orange here. Just click on that. And then choose the letter. So Crash Bandicoot is a C. You want to click on the C. And you scroll down until you find Crash Bandicoot. Um, right, make sure you get the right... I don't know what they call it. There's a there's a layer at the end. You see it says E, E, D, C, J, U. If you're from Europe, you will want one that says E, or N, T, S, C, or PAL, or U. Because U is USA. Do not choose J or any others because I think J is Japan and then you'll be playing Crash Bandicoot in Japanese and nobody wants that. So it's the one with the number E. So click on it. Should take you to this. You should see a screenshot as you scroll down. And you want to click Download Crack Bandicoot Direct Download Links. So the first time you click on this, you'll have to do a capture thing just to make sure you're not a robot. I don't know why, but I've already done that, so mine just comes to it on. And then once you pass that, click here Direct Download Download Crash Bandicoot E E D C. And then uh, the ISO will download. Uh, and you want to save that, I've already downloaded Crash Bandicoot, so I'm going to do that now. But before we can play the game, it will download as a WinRAR file, probably. So if you save it to your desktop, just extract it like you do. Extract to, it should say Crash Bandicoot, I say. And then uh, inside, it will look like this. So uh, 
go to EPSXE, and then there's a games folder which I've made. So you won't have it in yours, but you want to make it. So right click, new folder, and call it games, and then uh, that's where you want to put all the folders after you've extracted them. Put them in here to keep it all tidy. And then uh, let me find it, Crash Bandicoot 1. Okay. When you uh, download most of the games, they will end in ECM. The file extension will be ECM. It won't be bin, like on here. It won't be bin, like this. It will say ECM. And EPSXC will not run ECM. So, a simple fix. You want to go back to EMU Paradise, homepage. And you want to go to the search bar. And you want to type in ECM Tools. And then, uh, it's easy enough. ECM Tools ISO, it should be Sony PlayStation. You want to download that. I already have. And then you want to save that again in your EPSXE folder. Uh, and you want to make a new folder and call it ECM Tools. Like I have. You won't have this folder and you want to make it. And it should be ecm.exe and unecm.exe. And the one you really, really need to concentrate on is unecm. Unecm.exe. Okay. So, uh, just drag this to the left and then uh, the Crash Bandicoot ISO, which I downloaded. So let me open it. EPSXE to the right. Games and I, I made a folder Crash Bandicoot. Obviously, I've already changed mine, and what only ECM does, it converts it into a bin file. So if I can find one, see Silent Hill, ECM, there you go, ECM. So I'll, I'll, I'll delete the bin because that's what I converted. Silent Hill. So what you want to do, you want to have unecm in the ECM Tools folder at one side of the screen, and then you want to have the ISO or the bin or the ECM file on the other side of the screen. And what you want to do is you simply want to drag this along. Oh, hang on, I lost it. Drag this along, and uh, just let go of the mouse once it's. So you see, it says open with unecm. So let go of the mouse, and the black box should appear. There we go. And it says decoding, if you look, it says decoding. And once that gets to 100%, there should be a file on this side. I think it's already there. That says .bin. Okay? And once that bin file is there, just wait for this to finish, 33%. Uh, depending on the size of the game, this should take no longer than two minutes, really. Uh, and just wait for it to finish. shouldn't take long and basically once it's downloaded sorry not once it's downloaded once it's converted into a bin file which is what EPSXE can understand you want to delete the ECM file because it's just it's just a waste of space really the bin file is slightly larger I think it's got a few extra files in that makes it playable so you can down you can delete the ECM file so uh, delete center recycle bin thank you and now there's a bin file on there, and that's exactly what I did with the Crash Bandicoot ISO, which is here. Okay. And uh, now you've done that, minimise these, and you want to click on EPSXE. So uh, again, back to EPSXE. Dot com or whatever. No, <laughs> the folder that you made. Go to game. Oh, sorry. Right click, send to desktop. And it should create a shortcut on the desktop like it just did there. Okay, minimise that. I'll just delete the shortcut word because it annoys me for some reason. So it just says EPSXE. Yes, I do. Oh, I must already have one on the desktop. Either way, you want to double click that. And then to run the Crash Bandicoot game, it's as simple as this. File. Run, oh, sorry. File. Run ISO. And then uh, find your EPSXE folder, go to the games, and then scroll down until you've... Well, obviously you won't need to scroll down if it's the first one you've downloaded, but Crash Bandicoot 1, and it should show up as a bin file. And all you need to do is double-click that, and for some reason, Fraps, which I'm using to record this video, will uh, stop as soon as I double-click this. So, uh, I'm going to make two videos and just join them together so you'll be able to see a bit of the gameplay alright I'll see you in a sec
Okay, I'm back. And this it seems to be working. It seems to be working, okay. Um most of the games you can download off em Emu Paradise, the, far, uh, the site which I showed you, are fully playable right through to the very end. But there is the odd game that will have, it might have a black square at the top of the screen, or it might all be one colour. But in that case, there will there will be updating it. There should update it. And if not, just try try one from a foreign language. Not a foreign language, sorry, try a different one. So if you downloaded the PAL version, try the E version if there is one. And if there isn't, <laughs> very unlikely, but if there isn't, then uh, I'm afraid there's nothing nothing you can do. Anyway, I'm just going to start the game and show you a bit of gameplay. Uh, end Sanity Beach. Got a funny pun there. End Sanity. <laughs> And uh, there shouldn't be any lag if your system's quite up to date. I'd say if your if your if your PC or laptop is less than five years old, sorry, if your laptop's less than five years old, it should run this no problem. And if your PC is less than seven or eight years old, it should run this no problem as well. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna play this level so you can see what I mean. Just crash down the queue. I don't care. I'm just gonna speed through it. I'll probably die in a sec. But there you go, as you can see, it's working. I'll just spin it. I like spinning it. I like the noise it makes. Uh, oh, sure hey, there we go. I'll try and get all the boxes. I doubt I will. Without that. If I do, then uh, great. So life's always good. I used to love this game when I was little. Oh, bit of a stutter there. It's probably because I'm a boy on track. Uh, I, I love this. I love that. Spin you. Anyway. Oh, this is bringing back memories. And that is basically how you download, run, set up, play games with the EPSX. You download any game you want. I'm almost at the end of the level now. I know there is a life in the second box. Second to last box, there is a life. That's all I know. That's all I can remember. <laughs> I'll just finish the level and then I will go. There we go. Alright. And that's EPSXE for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have fun playing all the PS1 classics. Goodbye. <laughs>